one of the things that European countries can perhaps learn from the Canadian experience is remembering the fact that Canada was not a very welcoming place for racial and religious diversity half a century ago. So as much as it was a country of immigration, it was not a country of immigration that accepted and welcomed people from all over the globe. It is that kind of country today. So we can ask, how did that come about? And part of this is because of the policies of integration and multiculturalism, and also the promotion of Canadian citizenship, which has really changed the national identity of Canada. Previously, Canada was really uh, articulated through a narrative of two founding people, the English and the French. And so if we look right after World War II, the prime minister of the time uh, spoke about the dangers of what he called oriental migration and how the racial mixing in Canada could be a problem. At that same time, there wasn't really talk of aboriginals or Inuit, so there was this very strong notion of English and French. If we move forward two decades, we see this reevaluation and reimagining of Canadian national identity. This is part and parcel of a whole bunch of changes that were going on in Canada, the rise of French Canadian independence and nationalism in Quebec in particular, the uh, reassertion of uh, voice and rights among Aboriginal people and the Inuit, but also the claims making that was done by European immigrants of Ukrainian background, German background, uh, Italian background, but also other migrants of Chinese or West Indian background to give space to their voices. And in 1971, Canada announced a policy of multiculturalism. The Prime Minister of the day, Pierre Elliott Trudeau, spoke in the House of Commons about how there would be no single culture in Canada, but that all cultures would be equal, and that people would, the government, sorry, would be encouraging those cultures in order to make people more fully Canadian. Now that kind of message of being able to retain one's cultural background and have pride in one's identity, but at the same time being a full member of society, is something that perhaps European countries can think about as they grapple with what their national identity and national imagining will be in the future in the 21st century.